here you have China buying up the, the farmlands yeah. in the United States, and I and I think that they have. Let me see if I can get my numbers right, but I want to say it's about four hundred thousand acres. Something yep, like that. between so between yeah. what the CCP act three hundred. Yep, three hundred eighty four thousand acres. And by the way, you know who the next biggest landowner is who's buying up Bill Gates. Bill Gates, right? So Bill Gates, who is worried about the next epidemic that's going to you know kill the world, is buying up farmland. What does that tell you? But the point with China is we're not playing the same game anymore. Mm. China sees us as an interloper. China is playing the long That's game. That's right. They, they, uh, um, I remember years ago, you know, when I was training with uh, one of my instructors from Japan, after the training, we sat down in very broken English. You know, you know uh, he's, he would say, you know, you guys just celebrated your bicentennial. bicentennial. And we said, yes, sensei. He said, we have swords that are older than your country. Right. So the Chinese are 6,000 years old. In comes these interlopers that are two. What are we? 200 and 250, 24. Yeah, yeah, we're 250 years old. We're 250 years old. And and if you go back to remember that book, America Against yeah. Americans from America the, Against from America, the political scientist from China who was yeah. here. That's what they're trying to figure out is how did this country. That is an upstart that doesn't have this history rise to such uh, ascend to be the leader of the free world or the leader of the world which you can argue we're not anymore and i would certainly subscribe to that theory but china is playing the long game because we're worried about i mean and and watch what's going on everything we've talked about from the wokeism yep. to really unmooring if you will or, or unattaching america from its founding principles so then you're floating aimlessly and then you allow because you can't buy by the way you erica or me robert cannot go to china That's right and buy land in china you cannot start a company in china frankly if you go to china and and they know you're coming you're going to be followed around by a spy anyway yeah. whether you know it or not so you cannot but yet they can come here and they can buy up these companies. They can buy, they bought, and I, I use Smithfield Foods because they're the largest pork and hog producer in the world. That's right. That China now owns, yep. right? IBM, Lenovo, yep. right? Um, Didn't they GE find out they were making uh, spyware on Lenovo's, by the way? Didn't they, wasn't that like the a- Department of Def The Inspector General report in 2019, folks. By the way, you should email me, Robert C at asicfund.org or Erica, yours. What's your email? Um, do I do I have an email? You are gener you, you generally oh, irritable. Oh, generally irritable at gmail.com. There you go. You want a copy of the 2019 U.S. Department of Defense Re Intelligence reports on COTS, which is commercially off-the-shelf software, GoPro, Lenovo, wow. um, Lexmark, those, all of those things that are, are owned by Chinese companies or Chinese, or, and again, we're talking about the Chinese Communist Party. We're not talking about the people of China. Right. Let's be clear, because I know some xenophobe is going to work. Someone's going to call me a xenophobe or you're a racist or you're, you know, white people, yellow people, red people, black people, pink people, blue people, thing, you know, nonsense crap they're going to throw at me, right? Because, you know... Um, did I get the rainbow, by the way? Isn't that Roy I, G. Biff? I, red, I, orange, yellow. I think so. Green, blue, mm -hmm. indigo, violet, mm -hmm. something like that. But China's playing the long game. Right? Yeah. They're buying up farmland. And by the way, what do you think the Belt and Road Initiative is? In Africa they're and buying Europe. Influence. And, they're bu they're yep. buying influence. They're South buying America. up companies here to control what, what, they he what you hear and what you don't That's hear. Right. They are paying off politicians. I mean... And so for someone, let's go back to Kennedy, big colonies, right? For him to go and for him to go after China is a big deal. It really is. And I think that that's, that's something the American people are really looking for. Um, they want someone who's strong. They want someone who is going to defend us. They want, the average American wants someone to defend American exceptional, exceptionalism and American values. Whether you consider yourself right of center or left of center, I think the majority of people are somewhere in the middle and they just want somebody to say like sensible, normal stuff. Like this is not okay. This is not cool. Um, this is dangerous. 
And, and I think that the more that the Biden crime family is exposed, the more we see the corruption and bribery and things like that, the worse the poll numbers are going to get for Joe Biden and the more Americans are going to be looking for an alternative. And, and I, but that's why, that's what, that's why they want. That's why they want a damaged Donald Trump mm. to be the Republican nominee because they think it's their best chance. Of-